Hi, your chemistry teacher Mahesh here. Today we are going to discuss one of the important chemical reactions that is decomposition reaction. So in this video, let's understand what exactly is a decomposition reaction, right? We have studied combination reactions. When two or more reactants combine together to give one product, that's called combination reaction, right? Exactly the reverse of that is decomposition reaction. If single reactant gives different products by absorbing energy, then that reaction is called decomposition reaction. Let's take a few examples. You know about this limestone, right? Calcium carbonate, CaCO3. When this limestone, CaCO3, calcium carbonate, when this limestone is heated, when you heat this limestone, you will be getting calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. Correct? Calcium oxide is also called quicklime. It's also called quick line. Yes, this is a decomposition reaction. One reactant that gives two different products. Correct? And one more reaction like ferrous sulfate. FeSO4. This is called ferrous sulfate. And it's green in color, right? When this ferrous sulfate is heated that green color disappears and it gives ferric oxide its formula e, formula is Fe2O3 ferric oxide and it also gives sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide right 2 yes that means here it should be 2 FeSO4 2 Fe 2 Fe Yes, I guess it's balanced. 3 plus 2, 5. 5 plus 3, 8. 2, 4, 8. Yes, it's balanced. See, these were the decomposition reactions. Are they there new reactions? I think one very important reaction which, which is used in black and white photography that is AGBR, silver bromide. AGBR. When AGBR absorbs sunlight. Sunlight is nothing but energy, right? When it absorbs sunlight, it gives silver, Ag, and also gives bromine, Br2. So it should be 2 Ag Br gives 2 Ag plus bromine. Right? If it is silver chloride, that also takes place in the same way, that reaction, AgCl, when it absorbs sunlight, it gives silver plus chlorine gas, Cl2 gas. So here also it should be 2AgCl, gives 2AgCl, yes, reaction is balanced. In our reaction, the Vodo, I think lead nitrate, PbNO3 twice. That's the formula of lead nitrate. When that lead nitrate is heated, it gives lead oxide, PbO, plus NO2, plus O2. Correct? Yes. So it should be 2 PbNO3, 2 PbO, 4 NO2 plus O2. This is how we balance the reaction. Okay. Now, I think you might have observed in all these reactions, we have supplied energy, right? And in all the reactions, they absorbed energy. Heat. Heat is also a form of energy. Sunlight is also a form of energy. If a particular reaction absorbs energy to give product. That energy is going 
into the reaction mixture or into the reaction container, right? So that means endo. Endo means in. Thermic. Thermic means heat. So heat flows into the reaction mixture. In means what? Endo. So heat is flowing. Heat. Thermic. So all these reactions are called endothermic reactions. Right? All decomposition reactions are endothermic in nature. That means by absorbing energy, those reactions take place. Hope that's clear. Single product gives, sorry, single reactant gives different products by absorbing energy. That's called decomposition. And it's also called thermal decomposition. All these reactions are heat. When you supply heat, that's also called thermal decomposition reaction. Correct? And all decomposition reactions are endothermic in nature. Hope you understood decomposition reactions. Right? Thank you.